These are the plans laid out for Shadwell's remarkable runners in the latter half of the year. Each horse's journey presents a unique narrative, and the anticipation builds as they prepare to showcase their talents on the grand stage of horse racing. After being unable to participate in the Group 2 Hardwick Stakes at Royal Ascot due to the unsuitable fast ground conditions, the highly anticipated return of Shadwell's Hookham is eagerly awaited in his next race, the prestigious Group 1 King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, stakes on July 29. Notably, Hookham triumphed at the Royal Meeting last season by winning the Group 1 Coronation Cup. This remarkable achievement was followed by a year-long hiatus caused by a hind leg fracture. However, Hookham made a triumphant comeback on May 25th, defeating the Derby hero Desert Crown in the Group 3 Brigadier Gerard Stakes. Shadwell's racing manager, Angus Gold, provided insight into the decision-making process regarding Hookham's absence from the previous race. He stated, Hookham will run if and when we get some rain. It was a touch-and-go situation on Saturday. We were eager to run him, but ultimately, Owen Burrows, his trainer, decided that although we could have entered him and potentially secured a victory, the risk of him coming back slightly sore afterward was too great. It would have been a regrettable outcome for all of us. Gold went on to explain the careful rehabilitation process Hookham underwent following his injury last year. He stated, we dedicated significant time to his recovery and ensuring he was back in top form. Therefore, it made more sense to refrain from taking unnecessary risks. Our primary focus is on the King George. If the ground conditions are good, or even if they are moderately firm, we might have to seize the opportunity. That is the pinnacle event, and we will assess the situation as we approach the race day. In addition to Hookham, Gold shared updates on other prominent Shadwell runners. Most Ardaf, the impressive winner of the Group 1 Prince of Wales's stakes, will not be participating in the upcoming Group 1 Coral Eclipse stakes. Instead, the highly regarded Group 1 Prix d'Espagne Victor Anmart has been earmarked for the race, pending suitable ground conditions. Gold expressed confidence in most Ardaf's condition and revealed the plan to showcase his form at York in August. Gold also provided insights into the future plans for Ala Sifa, a listed winner who finished sixth in the Group 2 Ribblesdale Stakes, after being supplemented. He stated, we will allow her some well-deserved rest and bring her back in the autumn. Ala Sifa has the potential to develop into an exceptional filly, and we will determine her targets after giving her a brief downtime of approximately three weeks. Furthermore, the dual Group 2 winner Mutesarbeck, who finished 11th in the prestigious Group 1 Queen and Stakes, will also be given a period of rejuvenation. After a string of races in quick succession, including a victory in the Group 2 bet 365 mile at Newmarket on May 5 and a fifth-place finish in the Group 1 Locking Stakes, at Newbury on May 20, it has been decided to give Mutesarbeck a well-deserved break. Gold added, we will assess his options, but for now, we will allow him some time off. He is the type of horse that could easily come back and secure another Group 2 win later in the year. These are the plans laid out for Shadwell's remarkable runners in the latter half of the year. Each horse's journey presents a unique narrative, and the anticipation builds as they prepare to showcase their talents on the grand stage of horse racing. Please like and subscribe and as always thank you for your support.